What's going on guys, Crash Endo here and welcome to a brand new video on the Bear Cub account. So in this video we're going to be starting our new series on the Bear Cub account, which is basically starting from scratch, which is why in the background you can see me selling literally everything in the bank. So there are a couple things that I'm going to note. Uh, we will be keeping a lot of the untradables and having access to the player owned house, but for some of the untradables like skill capes I will need to unlock them by paying the fee to unlock the skill cape. as the perks that they offer are pretty OP. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. Uh, I'm really enjoying making it so far. This is a pre-recording over the episode, so I hope you guys really do enjoy this episode. Uh, we get really lucky in this episode, so just gonna point that one out. And for those of you that don't know, my other half and I made a clan chat. It's called Mature Cave. If you are interested in a mature social clan chat, feel free to pop in. Uh, I will leave a quick find code down in the description to the RuneScape forums if you are interested in actually joining the clan or if you just want to read up about the clan. Uh, all people are welcome, just mature social clan is essentially what it is. We do have some PBM events planned and some other stuff and of course can always meet some new friends and uh, enjoy the game with other people. So all that being said, let's go ahead and let's just jump right into the first episode of this series. Again, I really hope you guys enjoy this series and let's jump right in. First plan, I want to get the construction cape unlocked. Reason being the construction cape gives me teleports to so many places in the game that it's not worth uh, putting off any longer than I need to. So I have some fairly high skills, so I can actually go ahead and um, get that 99k pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead and bust that out. I'm going to actually head on over to uh, Puro Puro, and I'm going to catch some Eclectic Implings real quick. Uh, I'll get the free Butterfly Net uh, and some Impling Jars from the guy in Puro Puro. Uh, so that will be amazing for us. So we are going to actually go out here until we can find a wheat uh, crop circle in this wheat field. So we'll have to hop around worlds, but we're going to find the crop circle to get to Xanaris instead of wasting our home teleport to teleport to Lumbridge, because I kind of want to save that in case we end up uh, getting a clue. So let the world hopping begin. All right, that didn't take too long, just, you're joking. What is that luck? It despawned as soon as I started recording. Oh, man, I literally hopped three worlds and found it and then it despawned. That's saddening. I can't believe that. All right, we're gonna continue hopping worlds until we can find this darn thing again. Hopefully we get lucky and we find it pretty quickly again. Literally went ahead and hopped to the next world after pausing the recorder and I found the crop circle. So entering into Puro Puro. Do you have any spare equipment that I can use? All right, perfect. So we're gonna start out with seven impling jars and the butterfly net. So we're gonna go ahead. I already had these tiles marked out from Crescendo, so we're going to catch a couple of these lower tier implings out here so we can go ahead and where the impling despawned what there was two implings there i swear all right maybe i'm just losing my mind here but we're going to catch some implings so we can exchange them for jars Ooh, there's an eclectic already perfect uh, but yeah, we're going to exchange them for jars so we can get a full inventory of Eclectics because Eclectic Implings are uh, 2.6k. Um, how much are Essence Implings? 1.7k. Young Implings, 2k. What? Okay. So we're going to, like I said, catch some Implings here, exchange them for some jars, and get an inventory of Eclectic Implings. All right, we got our inventory of impling jars, and there's this ninja imp that spawned, and I'm wondering if I can actually catch it before it flies away. Um, can we get lucky? We got lucky, okay. Um, how much are these? 27k? Really? Already? What? 
Okay, that's pretty hype. That's a really good start already. All right, and the last one, perfect. We have a full inventory. So just to give a little price check of this, our little escapade here gave us 94.3K, assuming it all sells for what it says that it's going to sell for. That is almost our construction cape unlocked just from the first like three minutes of playtime here. So that's a pretty intense one. All right, selling all of the implings, we got 94.1K. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to buy a stamina potion, four dose. And I'm going to go ahead and buy some impling jars. All right, inventory number two and back through the crop circle to get to the Grand Exchange, 135,000. All right, so I can go ahead and hop in the bank, deposit the cash stack, and we want the construction cape, so we take out 99K and we find some random person if he trades. All right, so that's 99K down, so we now have access to the construction cape. Perfect. And we also have a bit of cash left over so we can go ahead and see what this uh, medium clue requires. All right, we got our first medium casket. Let's not delay this, open it up, and we get... All right, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. All right, first birdhouse run. Let's see what we get from these two nests. Uh, all right, those were garbage seeds, but we can go ahead and we can look at the bird's nests themselves and the ring that we got. So that's 36.8K. That's not bad for the investment that we just made. One black dragon hide set acquired. All right, that went a lot easier than I expected it to go. And we got some uncuts and the beginning clue. Cool. So I actually didn't need all of this food, which is pretty great. Um, so yeah, we're going to bring a couple keys this next time. Kill number two for some cosmic runes. Let's grab kill number three. And a rune longsword for number three. And number four is three battle staffs. Nice. What the heck? A single Marantel. Browfida, what the hell? All right, and the last Bryophyta kill for an Irrit Seed. Yeah, not the best. All right, so we managed to get some gear purchased. I have a red Salamander because I'm only 60 attack, so I can use the black Salamander, and I have some Terramentar. And we are going to be going to Barrows to see if we can get lucky there. We have the Mauritania Hard Diaries done, so we should also be able to get uh, some good profit from the runes if not items. And I have a dragon scimitar that I purchased as well, just for uh, killing monsters in uh, the crypts. Right, so this isn't going as smoothly as I expected. I've already used two, now three sips of my uh, prayer potions, and I'll probably use a fourth sip in the tunnel itself. But that's not too terrible because this is the last brother before I have to go down. Aram is my tunnel, which is fine. At least it's not Darok, because I don't have a weapon to actually kill Darok with safe spotting. So <laughs> it's working out for us. So I'm going to go down into this tunnel and hopefully not get completely ruined by all of the uh, little monsters. Uh, the other thing that I'm potentially going to invest in, depending on how well these Barrows runs go, is the strange lockpick. So I can just go through and get into the middle um, as quickly as possible. All right, first Barrow's chest. Can we get anything? What? A Darox axe on the first chest? Oh my god. All right, that automatically gives us a lot of possibilities here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up these runes. Wow, that's, that's actually nutty. <laughs> the first one. Cool. I forgot my uh, construction cape, so we're gonna just teleport out with the birthday rot teleport, but I can't believe that. What a great way to start this mini series that actually unlocks so many gear upgrades for us. It's not even funny. Right, so the first upgrade that we're going to make is we're going to grab a trident, just a regular trident. Uh, this says that it's gonna go for 920k. Oh my lord, I don't even need to sell these runes. Let's go trident of the seas full. 
it says that it's going for 850k we'll try and buy it for 850k and we got it awesome so that automatically replaces the salamander so the salamander <laughs> I actually planned on using that thing for a while, so I bought 7,000 tar, but okay. We're gonna stick with the trident. I'm gonna use the Zeros book and the imbued Ceridoman cape, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So the next upgrade that I'm going to be getting on the account is actually going to be putting the Barrows teleport in my house. For that, I need to get 100% Arceus favor, and I also need quite a bit of money to afford all of the runes for that. So we're just going to continue at Barros until we can get that. Um, hopefully the luck continues and we just get some uh, good money out of this. Regardless, we'll get quite a bit of runes, which will be great for us. Chest number two. Ah, uh, yeah, um, mm, hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, not a good chest by any means, but okay. Can't really complain after we got as lucky as we did on the first chest. All right, chest number three is going to be even worse than chest number two. All right, we used all of our RNG on chest one. That's actually funny. Oh, let's go. And chest number four better than the other two so we're good with that well no teleport but that is a nice chest 225 death runes and some coins i will definitely take that all right let's see if we can get it that's not a bad chest either all right i'll take that too all right last chest before work again not a bad chest so we're averaging about fifty thousand right now a chest which is really great because that's going to be a huge help with contributing towards that Barrows portal. All right, we got the air conditioner going in the background. Sorry about that. So let's uh, see what we get from the first chest back from work. Uh, I've seen better, but we're not going to complain. The chaos runes will be nice for the trident recharges. All right, chest number two is going to be, eh, again, seen better, not going to complain. All right, chest number 10. Let's see what we get. Ooh, blood runes. Nice. And that's a lot of chaos runes, too. That's great. Awesome. Let's get some more of those. All right, and our next chest is going to give us... Uh, well, that's another item. Uh, not exactly the most useful, but I will take it nonetheless, because that is 100k, well, 118k's worth of uh, loot right there. So that pushes us closer towards that Barrows portal. Let's go. All right, can we get the back-to-back -back is the question. Oh my God. We got the back-to-back -back with the Carol's leather top. That's so sick. Let's go. <laughs> That's the Barrows portal paid for. And look at all those runes too. Oh my God. That's insane. Yo, this is so great. I'm loving Barrows right now. All right, and with that last book, we're at 100% favor, so that's great. And it's going to ask that we're going to be using these runes that we confirm, and we use the runes, and now, when we go to our teleport menu, we have those on our teleport. All right, so can we get the back to back to back is the real question. No, we cannot, but that's still some good loot. All right, and chest number 14 is going to be more good runes. I am not going to complain about that at all. All righty, and chest number 15, I think I'm going to stop for a bit and do something else after this. So let's see if we get anything on the chest number 15. More runes. Still happy with that. All right, so I actually just ended up going to sleep and woke up a couple hours later. So we're going to do a couple more Barrows chests before we jump into anything else that requires our full attention. Because, to be honest, the brain is a bit dead. So let's see what we get from our, I believe it's 16th Barrows chest. What is this luck, dude? <laughs> what the hell? That's my fourth item in 16 chests, and it's worth a mil almost. 
I have made 4.5 mil in 16 chests. That's so insane. And just like that, we now have the Guthix Dragonhide set. Awesome. So we have 404k left over, plus a 302k in the bank. So a pair of Guthix Dragonhide boots is 751k. So unfortunately, we don't have enough money for that. We would actually need to sell runes. And I don't think the Guthix Dehide boots are that huge of an upgrade over the snakeskin boots to be warranted spending our entire cash stack on. All right, chest 17, can we get the back-to-back? -back? No back-to-back, -back, but that's nice blood runes and death runes. Let's get it. All right, so we got a Derek tunnel. That was a bit spooky. Let's see what we get. More good runes. I'm fine with that. So we have two more chests to go until we are done with our little Barrows grind for a bit. The Guthix Dehide is working out so much nicer than I actually anticipated. I am not running out of prayer at all until I actually enter into the crypt, which is amazing. So I'm definitely loving this upgrade. Alright, and chest 19. Good amount of death runes, I'll admit that. Alright, chest number 20. Good runes again. Alright, so that's a pretty good stopping point for Barrows. We've made 4.75 million. Alright, so after we sold the excess runes, we now have a full trident charge here. 871,000 coins. And if we look over everything that we've done this episode we got a trident our blessed dragon hide set and we also upgraded the player owned house so i think we've done quite a lot this episode starting with absolutely nothing we've gotten really lucky not gonna lie that's uh, a huge help with progressing the account along uh I'm thinking that we're going to be doing some Zora next episode. When that's going to be, though, I'm not entirely sure, because I might do an alternation between Crescendo and the Bear Cub account. So, again, not really sure how that's going to go. Also, next week I have clinicals, so my time available to play the game is going to be a lot lower than what it uh, has been over the past week. Uh, I also need to do five or six quests before I can even access Zolra, so that'll take about four or five hours, possibly longer. It all depends um, if I get lucky throughout um, the Underground Pass and whatnot. But yeah, so I have quite a lot of stuff uh, sort of planned out for the next episode on this account, and I'm hoping that next episode, when we start doing Zolra, maybe we can get lucky, but I'm not going to complain if we don't get lucky because we've gotten so lucky with uh, Barros that's put us at a point where we can actually realistically entertain the idea of doing uh, Zolra. So even if we don't get any uniques, the regular drops from Zolra will surely help. Now, I wanted to continue to grow the cash stack to the point where it is now because doing Zolra requires quite a lot of potions and food and some of these quests require some items, potions, and food as well. And in order to kind of keep myself at an area where I can efficiently do things, I needed to make sure that I had enough money in order to purchase everything that I needed so I don't need to deviate and go somewhere else. So that's going to be the goal for next episode. Reach Zolra, start killing some Zolra, and hopefully attain, or sorry, obtain a blowpipe, and also maybe even the Trident of the Swamp. If I manage to do that, I think the episode after that is going to consist of upgrading our standard gear just a bit more, and then potentially going to do some raids. So it's going to be difficult to do some raids, but I can do some free-for-alls. Uh, unfortunately, with these stats, we don't really have the ability to get a lot of points uh, from Ulm itself, unless we're doing the Mage Hand, which I plan on doing. I also have Augury for that, so that'll be great. But that would possibly give us some huge content, depending on if we got lucky there as well. 
and pretty much anything from raids would be useful except for augury if i got a dexterous prayer scroll that would be absolutely huge for unlocking rigor but i might have different plans for that so we'll have to see what happens in the next episode before we can actually start realistically planning further ahead but expect to see some zolra in the next episode so thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time